Good afternoon. Today we are talking about seven moons. I had talked um, prior about seven moons and the regular red blend. This is the dark side red blend and this one's from California 2017. The seven phases of the moon. I really enjoy the packaging and the labeling. And it's Discover the Dark Side, Seven Moons, Dark Side Red Blend celebrates the phases of the moon by combining seven grape varietals, variety, into a dark, rich red blend with lush, mouthful, uncorked pour and enjoy by the moonlight. So it has um, Syrah, Merlot, Petite Syrah, Zippendel, Cabernet Sauvignon, Malbec, and Greenwich. So... I liked the red blend. It was one of my favorite red blends. Prior, you'll have to watch my video. I've already let this air out. I opened it about 30 minutes ago. I was going to go grab me a piece of pizza. For lunch, I had kind of a late breakfast. Chick-fil-A, they're always awesome. So I'm going to set this here and I'm going to let this, I'm going to stir this around. And I'm actually going to go to the exclusive grape, which is, um, a wine shop tomorrow at happy hour because I have some time off and I have to run some errands and I'm going to get one of my favorite Pinot Noirs there and then I'm going to do a tasting on that tomorrow because I do have us uh, a time to do different videos and also don't mind my pajama bottoms I did have pants on when I left earlier but I don't feel like wearing pants it's in Florida and we're in like 80 degree weather and I'm in the middle of redoing my house and there's only a certain amount of clothes here so, and I'm going to, why I mentioned exclusive grape, let me stay on topic, is I'm going to get the exclusive grape wine glass. I really like the stem and the way that it presents itself, and I will just show you tomorrow whenever I do the Pinot Noir. Okay, I can smell, like as you see, it's a pretty dark color. I can smell dark cherries. I definitely smell the dark cherries and chocolate and raspberry. The dark cherries and chocolate are very strong. I do have to say it's nice and smooth for a blend. I really enjoy blends. They give you a variety and they're not too bold. I mean some people prefer a bolder taste. Their palate's a little different. I'm going to be making meatloaf tonight, so I do believe that I'm going to drink this with it. This red wine tends to go very well with red meats, grilled meats, and this is nice and smooth. I actually like this better than the regular red blend. This is the dark red blend, and this is year 2017. It seems like it's, I don't really want to say it's oaky because sometimes that turns people off, but it seems a little smoky, but not too intense. I really enjoy it. And like I said, I used to drink red blends a lot more, but I found out the Pinot Noirs were a lot better for you. So, I try to stay with red blends or Pinot Noirs, but I'm more into Pinot Noirs. But this is a nice, smooth, great tasting, great smell, no aftertaste. It's actually one of my favorites now. I do like the 19 Crimes Red Blends, which I plan on trying to do that tasting as well. This one my husband got me. I have done tastings on uh, Seven Moons before, but I believe that it was just the regular Red Blend, which is not... This is a little stronger and more intense, but not in a bad way intense. So it's kicked up a notch. It still has the same seven blends, but it's a little darker side because I believe of the dark chocolate. You can kind of taste that mouthful. Kind of reminds me of Cupcake's um, Red Velvet. This to me is a little bit better. And I do recommend it. So cheers. Try some seven moons and like and subscribe and I will be doing more videos.
Have a nice day.